suspension on this bike now and what we've done to achieve the ride we have out of this we did some testing earlier and you can see the bike is more than capable on the dirt it's still got a really supple ride on the road it's still a, a very heavy bike at you know at around the 300 kilo mark with all the gear on it loaded up full of fuel um, all that kind of stuff it, it's a lot of weight but it really doesn't feel like it having ridden this and the BMW it does feel lighter the weights more centralized the weight is lower and it doesn't have that boxer weird inertia happening as I rev it so I find that a bit unnerving when I ride the boxes but on this I don't get that feeling so I have a nice feeling of stability it still can get away on you but, but the suspension has made a big difference what we've done on the forks is we've modified the internals of the forks and shortened the top out springs this has given us an extra 40 mil of travel in the shocks uh, in the fork sorry so we've been able to extend our travel by 40 millimeters we've gone to a 10 kilo spring in the front we've modified the compression stack and the valving stack in the dampening and gone to a we've just used five weight oil in it that's made a huge difference absolutely a phenomenal difference that's all very standard stuff we do all of that work in store and we keep the products all available in store as far as the back goes we've got this Wilbur's Unfortunately, you don't get to show it off enough, but it's tucked in here is this Wilbur's electronic shock unit. This Wilbur's unit comes fully ready to hook into the Triumph wiring loom. This solenoid here is the motor to pump fluid into the hydraulic preload adjuster. And then there is wiring that controls the electronic rebound adjuster. So on the bike, all I have to deal with is one control module and you can see I can set my preload that's in the highest preload setting now by hitting the button it's now in the lowest preload setting and you can hear this pump now working it's now you can slightly see the back coming down effectively lowering the back of the bike and changing the preloader preload to a more supple setting at the push of a button I can go back up to my firm setting and you will hear the motor come back into life. The same with dampening, I simply change the button on the dash to my three different dampening settings and I have variable dampening positions. This lets me modify my ride based on whether I have panniers, pillion, dirt roads, tar roads, I've got this flexibility now without even having to turn a screwdriver or a knob it's the push of a button this system is remarkably cheap for what it is Wilbur's shocks being one of the best shock builders in the world um, great products absolutely fantastic products we use Wilbur's uh, a lot on the triumphs and uh, a lot of custom projects and we haven't had a failure they're a, they're a really great shock 
Um, they are uh, a little pricey compared to some other shocks, but they are not as pricey, for example, as your Olin's or your White Power, and I believe they're a great product. So you're getting a top-end product at a really good price. This sort of technology is fantastic. Uh, you know, it brings this bike right up the spec in, in full competition with the BMW. I've got cruise control now, the electronic suspension, heated grips, spotlights, sat nav, tyre pressure monitoring system, temperature, you name it, it's got it. So uh, a great bike and I'm over the moon with it. But this suspension, it, you know, I did that ride before with a standard suspension and I nearly fell off about three or four times. The confidence I had today through those muddy ruts, etc., was just fantastic. So. Well done to Wilbur's and uh, as stated, the front we've done ourselves in-house. So give us a call if you're interested on any of your uh, bikes, adventure bikes, road bikes. As stated, we do all of this work in-house. Um, we don't outsource anything. So uh, that's it in a nutshell on this bike.